Good evening. I'm Coco. And I'm Riley. And we're your hosts for tonight. So how was your Thanksgiving? It was honestly kind of long. I feel like usually those breaks go by pretty quick, but I feel like I've been out of Lawrence for like a month. Long? <laughs> yeah. Oh my, I wish. I don't I usually wish. get days off, so it's kind of like, it feels a lot longer. It's Not a nice you. break. No, I thought yeah. it was two weeks long, actually. Oh, you like just weren't, like you wanted it to last longer, or you? I thought the break was two weeks long, and then oh, my dad was like, Oh, you thought it was going to be two weeks. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, that would put a damper on it when Sunday rolls around. You're yes. <laughs> expecting to stay in town. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was a little sad. Um, what did you do? Well, I just got to hang out with some family and friends, and there is actually a photo of us at the kids' table. We got oh. booted because there wasn't enough seats at the adult table, even though we're all over the age of 20, so... You know, it's kind of how it goes. How about you? Um, I, my dad just moved to Columbus, so the big Ohio State Michigan game was going on, and it's actually the rivalry, the huge yeah. rivalry, and it's really cool because they cross out every M in town, as you can see. I didn't in that know that poster. they did that. That's really not the thing that I noticed about the poster, yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest. But yeah, that's actually funny. I didn't know that they did that. Yeah. <laughs> so that was like a lot of fun. Um, and then I got to spend some time also exploring Columbus and like oh cool okay time with I've my never dad. been there so I it's I've heard it's fun though I've heard it's fun to kind of go to school over there it is it's a it's a nice like city but like clean because you used to live in Cleveland so it's a lot a little bit that. nicer a lot yeah. less ratchet <laughs> understandable um, oh. we did have some photos of some people oh, here we, we had a couple birthdays oh yeah I heard. Brooke right here had her birthday. I think she's turning 20, which not a teen no more, be teen <laughs> pregnancy. So, <laughs> and, and Emmeline, oh my God, 22, oh, double Taylor 20, Swift. Taylor here. Swift. I know that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> and I think um, Denalyn went to the movies and she saw. I think Saltburn, I've never really heard of it. Yeah, I haven't either. I wish I could give a better explanation on I know. that. But All I'm she said it was it. weird and good, so there you go. If anyone's thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> go watch Saltburn. <laughs> we also had uh, some more activities here. Ella got to go to the arcade and spend some time with her family, which would be a really fun take on Thanksgiving now that I think about it. Oh, yeah. Might need oh, to do yeah. that next year. Um, Emma got to chill with her dog. That That's kind of what I feel like we were all feeling like this whole week. I think we Just all need that. This dog snuggle time. Some more dogs. Grace has her cute little doggies. Got to see them. It's probably the best part of everybody going back home. Um, Elena was with her boyfriend at the Plaza Lights, which oh. I forgot they probably got those up a couple weeks ago. I bet they're yeah. super pretty with the Gorgeous. snow right now. I heard they also have like carriages there too. Yeah, some more Christmas decorations here. Ren got to put up her skinny little Christmas tree. <laughs> Looks like they're holding a cat. That's so cute. Aww. The roommates. Are you cat or dog person? Definitely a dog person. Oh, but that yeah. cat is really cute. Oh yeah, <laughs> me too, yeah. Did you watch the game at all? I did, I got to watch the game on Saturday because I was off, so I finally got to watch a game. Oh, um, which, God. yeah, there was a lot of exciting plays in that game, I definitely will say. Yeah, um, what happened? Because I did not get a chance to watch it. Well, there was a, a pretty important it. interception, now that I'm remembering, that I think was pretty crucial. Um, we've had quite a bit of those big plays, I think, in recent games, which is kind of proving our um, ability to beat those big teams, which is pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. You know, gaining some solid ground against some teams that have usually, you know, beaten us in the past. No, definitely. Was it during the second half? Yeah, right here. Oh, like, yeah. That's just insane. You that can't, you is can't, crazy. You can't coach that, you know? <laughs> oh, no. Crazy. All talent right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. A little slow mo right here. Oh, and oh that yeah. Oh, yep. Oh my God. <laughs> and how he rolls up like that. Like, I know. he had to take so like natural. gymnastics or like. <laughs> no, know. honestly, like, <laughs> yeah. how do you learn to like be on your toes like that? I know. I know. Or yeah, ballet, well, maybe? We've got a. I think what other games are coming up here? That was the last regular the season U game, I believe. So, kind of moving into basketball and stuff now, oh, too, as yeah. well. And finals week. There's actually one tonight, I think, basketball yeah, game. Yeah. Some Eastern. Kinda, Illinois. I always feel like everybody's like packed in with finals and basketball. Like you're trying to watch the games, trying to study for all. Oh of your, yeah, all your at exams. once. Most fun time, but crazy Chaotic. time. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. So about I, fun, I feel like time management is a big thing. Oh yeah. People 
you come back from break, you don't want to do work, but you got more work because you got finals, and then it's, you know. Exactly. It can be a mess. Do you have a lot of finals? No, since I'm a journalism major. Oh, yeah, mostly. me too, yeah. Just <laughs> It's mostly projects. just like projects and essays, but yeah, um, yeah. I definitely think that there's still some, some time management to be had and said about that, so. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I don't know why, but like high school taught me all of that. Yeah, I yeah. lost it. I came to college right out the window. Oh, yeah. I could not. I didn't have the structure anymore. It's a lot harder to get motivation. It is. It is. Yeah. I still think that there's, you know, if you can just think about it time frame wise, you know, we got like two weeks. Mm hmm. Two weeks of stuff, and then you're done for what, like a month? Oh, yeah. Isn't that the break? Like roughly a month? So. I don't know. I'm not mad about that. If you can push through 14 oh, yeah. days. No, it's the play hard, work hard. Exactly. That's what I exactly. think. Yeah. Pays off in the end. Yeah. You work hard in the morning, night, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Let loose, you know. But make sure you get those finals oh, submitted yeah, yeah, yeah. and done. That's the, the biggest thing. Yeah. Here. We all came here for a degree, so. Yes. That is the main part. Absolutely. Yes. I did actually hear, this was actually really interesting. Someone was like, I've never heard so people pay so much to try to miss so much. Oh, it. like skipping class? Yeah, and I was like, that's yeah. very true. I did see something else about somebody saying it was the most, the most addictive thing that they've found out from being in college was actually skipping class. Because <laughs> once you do it once, you know, you can't go back. Oh, yeah. It's a downward slope from it there. It is. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with news and sports. Miss the bus again? Yeah. You should download My Bus Lawrence. You can see when buses are arriving here, and you can also see where the buses are in Lawrence. Wow, okay. Download the My Bus Lawrence app today. Welcome back. I'm Grace. And I'm Ella. This is your Tuesday Good Evening KU News Update. Both Israel and Hamas have turned over even more hostages as part of a four-day ceasefire in Gaza um, that has been extended. <laughs> as of last night, and according to the BBC, an additional 44 captives have been released, with another 20 to come. The fighting is halted, but nearly 15,000 people have been killed since October 7th. In the U.S., protesters interrupted the traditional Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in support of Palestinians across the globe. According to the USA Today, some protesters appeared to glue themselves to the pavement and then pour a red liquid over themselves. Other protesters carried a banner that read, Liberation for Palestine and Planet. The ex-Minneapolis police officer who was convicted in the murder of George Floyd is in stable condition after being stabbed in prison on Friday. Derek Chauvin is serving multiple sentences and had recently been transferred to a prison in Arizona for his own safety. Chauvin was sentenced to 22 years for the murder and another 20 years for a civil rights violation. The City of Lawrence and a group of city employees are closer to an agreement in regard to the compensation of employees and the cleanup of local homeless camps. The City Commission questioned how employees are trained and how the camp cleanup was similar or different to general cleaning in other city-owned public spaces. The commission also agreed that city employees who worked in this area deserved additional compensation. Despite the full capacity of campus housing, Lewis Hall will be closed next year for renovations. According to the UDK, the renovations will include bigger showers, new carpeting, and room for a small refrigerator. Mrs. E's will remain open and the Rainbow community will move to Templin Hall. Many of you might have had Dan McCarthy as, one of, as your first academic advisor. McCarthy, who is now the Assistant Director of Jayhawk Academic Advising, was recently named the KU Employee of the Month. Congrats, Dan. That's all for news for sports. Here are Caden and Emma. Thanks, Ella. With a 49-16 victory over Cincinnati on Saturday, the football team finished the season with an overall 8-4 record and 5-4 in the Big 12. Quarterback Jason Bean returned and was responsible for four touchdowns against the Bearcats. Bean threw touchdown Fire. passes to Mason Fairchild and Jason, it, Jared Casey and, and ran for two scores on his own. Bean rushed for 90 yards, including touchdown runs of 43 and 50 yards. The bowl schedule will be released next Sunday. The men's basketball team bounced back from their first loss of the season with a 69-60 victory over Tennessee in the third place game of the Maui Invitational last week. 
After four easy wins to start the season, the Jayhawks could not keep up with Marquette in the tournament sem semifinals, falling 73-59. to On the bright side, senior Kevin McCuller was named Big 12 Player of the Week. KU is now 5-1 and one overall and will host Eastern Illinois tonight at Allen Fieldhouse. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Coach Self was asked about the development of the freshmen and reminded everyone that some of the best names in recent history got off to some slow starts. You know, the, the thing about it is, if you've been around this place and studied it over time, you know, Kelly Oubre didn't play any until like the eighth or ninth game, and that was strictly because a, a, a guy was late to shoot around. I mean, or, or he wouldn't have, you know, end up playing then. Mario Chalmers didn't play until after Christmas. You guys uh, uh, sometimes look at, at, at guys coming in and expect them to be uh, all this or all that right off the bat. And it doesn't happen that way with everybody. Uh, uh, you know, Cole Aldridge was a lottery pick, and he couldn't get in the game. Thomas Robinson's a lottery pick. He couldn't get in the game. Uh, uh, Travis Relliford was a hell of a basketball player here and didn't play for two years. The guys have done fine, but it's still early, and, and they're not quite uh, where we hope they would be but they're not so far off that they can't get there in, in a short amount of time. The women's basketball team hung with two top-ranked teams at the Cayman Islands Classic, but eventually came away with two losses. The Jayhawks fell 59-58 to ninth-ranked Virginia Tech and then lost 71-63 to sixth-ranked Connecticut. KU is now 2-3 and three overall with a game against Southeastern Louisiana on Thursday in Allen Fieldhouse. Tip-off has been moved from 6.30 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. in order to accommodate the NCAA Volleyball Tournament. KU Volleyball is 23-5 overall and will host the first two rounds of the NCAA Tournament on Thursday and Friday. The Jayhawks finished the regular season on a five-match winning streak over a four-set victory over UCF on Saturday. As the number four seed, KU will face Omaha in the second match on Thursday night. The winner of that game will then play the winner of Thursday evening's first match between Penn State and Yale. Coach Bouchard said that all four teams are worthy of the tournament. Penn State, I, I think a lot of people had them uh, pegged to host. Uh, and, um, you know, you can debate that a little bit. But when you get into the NCAA tournament, you get into these moments you play, who's right in front of you. Uh, I think Florida maybe as a 16 seed uh, in Penn State certainly was right on that bubble. So a very quality team playing against uh, maybe Yale's best team they've had in years. And then you got Omaha coming in with their first opportunity and Kansas playing well. So we got a nice pod of four teams we're excited about. Postseason awards continue to roll in for the soccer team and senior Shira Elanoff was selected to represent Israel in the UFO Women's Nations League, which continues this week. Elanoff has recorded 11 caps playing for her national team. That's all for sports. After the break, Brooke will be here with the weather. Good evening, KU. I'm Brooke Renicki with your weather. Back from this Thanksgiving break, I hope you all had a restful weekend. And those of you from some more warmer states might have been surprised to come back and see that the ground is covered with snow. Although we have had some warmer temperatures during the day, it hasn't quite been enough for that snow to melt off the ground yet. So be careful when you're walking around not to slip on any ice. Looking at the temperature map of the U.S. today, here we are in Lawrence, Kansas, and we got some colder temperatures up to the north, northeast, northwest. Um, KU, we're in a mid-range in the upper 40s, lower 30s. Um, not too cold, not too warm, just winter jacket weather. But going into tonight, right now our temperatures 38 um, in Lawrence, 38 in Ottawa. Topeka and Leavenworth are both at about 36 degrees, and KC is right in the middle at 37 degrees. Sunset today was at 4.59 p.m. As the day is getting shorter, that sunset is getting earlier and earlier. And tomorrow morning, we can expect a sunrise at 7.18 a.m. 
going into the tonight, we're going to have temperatures right now at about 37. And then by 8, 10, and midnight, it's going to drop down to 33 degrees. Those winds are becoming, coming from the southwest, west-southwest. Not too high, about 7, 8 miles per hour with gusts into the upper teens. And as we go into the morning, again, 6 a.m. temperature is going to be at around 29 degrees, um, 29 still at 8, and then by about noon, we'll get up to 44 degrees. Again, not too many strong winds tomorrow, um, 6, 9, 7 miles per hour throughout the morning. And as we go into this week, again, the temperatures are around the same range. Um, tomorrow, we're going to expect some partly cloudy conditions with a high of 48. As we go into Thursday and Friday, the highs are 49 and 39 degrees. We can expect some precipitation, most likely rain. However, some colder temperatures could bring some frozen precipitation, such as freezing rain or snow. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all partly cloudy with highs in the upper 40s, low 50s. And then next Tuesday, we're going to be back in the low 40s with a low in the 30 in the low 30s as well. So as we're gearing up for finals, and even if you're going to the game tonight, you also might want to gear up with that winter weather jacket, boots, and be careful of ice around. Thank you all for watching Good Evening KU. We'll see you all next week.